Hi there everyone, here again with another ShareFactory tutorial. With the release of the new 2.0 update, ShareFactory introduces many new features. In this tutorial, we'll go over the new photo editor mode. So the first thing you'll notice in the new 2.0 is the new sections for photo and GIF mode. We'll start with the photo editor section. This is going to look exactly like your video projects, but these are going to be a separate mode of photo projects versus a, your video projects you're prone to be familiar with. So we'll start with new project, and just like videos, you'll get the ability to select any of the themes that you've already pre-installed. This go with uh, Uncharted, since we have all this stuff set up. And first we'll notice that we have our two theme clips. We'll get two of our adjustable screenshots you have from your video projects from Solid Color and Gradient. And your entire capture gallery you already have saved to your system. So we'll go with, uh, we'll start with three. You'll start a project and you'll load into the new photo editor mode. Now there are things to keep in mind here. Over on the side on the left hand, you'll have the different frame layouts that you can apply to your project. So at any time, if you started with three, you can add more frames by cycling down here up to six to add on. And they'll change their layout based on whichever one you want to work with. But this is how you'll actually be able to add your frames as you want to increase what you've already started your project with. So let's go down here. I think one of my favorites is probably the six frame layout, number four, I believe. And so at any time you can select any of these frames by highlighting them with the cursor. You'll select X to edit photo and you can open up the choose screenshots menu which will go back into the capture gallery and you simply add in the screenshot that you want to change your frame to. And we'll get a couple more. So if we continue with the edit photo menu you'll see that you also have the options for overlays, filters, vignettes, and pan and zoom. If we select pan and zoom, you can zoom in with the left stick while you pan with the right stick. And you can move this around to frame this out however you feel would best suit you. You also have the option to change color. So if you want to make this a solid color, you can open up the color picker and actually change this around to just be something pretty basic. You'll also get the option for gradient in the choose screenshots menu which will then open up the screenshot settings. You can then change your gradients to whatever colors you have with the color picker or anything preloaded. So once you have your frames laid out in the way you would like you can also change the background. So Square will open up the background menu where you can change your border settings to increase the spacing in between all the frames or add some roundness to each of these pictures. You can also open the edit background menu to load an image in as your backdrop. So you don't have to keep this just a solid white color or any of the other colors. You can actually use an image as your backdrop. Just like video projects, you can also edit your filters and add any of the already pre-existing ShareFactory filters into your photo project. You also have the option to add vignette layouts to any of your frames. In addition to filters and vignettes, you also have the option to add overlays into your photo mode projects. Just like any of your video projects, you can add theme stickers, the generic stickers, or any of the available text for your theme. This will apply to the entire project, so this won't be locked into any specific cell in the actual photo project. Once you're happy with your photo project, Go ahead and open the options menu and you can select export settings. This will allow you to set your JPEG or PNG export preferences. Once your photo project is complete, you can select the triangle share button to open up the export process which will send the image to Facebook, Twitter, direct messages, or PlayStation communities. The photo editor mode will export at 4K resolution on PlayStation Pro while the original PlayStation 4 will export at 1080p. Have fun and feel free to experiment with the different kinds of collages you can make with Sheriff Factory's photo editor. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment below if you have any questions. And be sure to stay tuned. We'll have more coming soon.
Thanks, everyone.